What is up guys, Shadow to Fleer. Uh, today I'm be showing you how to do the new blue effect called uh, Spin Blur, which as you see in my last tutorial. Um, here goes a clip, uh, quick clip of what it looks like. So there it is, and um, this tutorial is fairly short. Um, all you really need is new blue after effects, or new blue effects for Sony Vegas Pro 11 or 10 or whatever you're using it for. Um, I have it for Sony Vegas 11, it's the same thing as all the other ones, so um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing we want to do is, of course, delete your audio, and hope everyone is, in, everyone is enjoying their um, Black Ops 2. Pick that up at midnight tonight, or last night, and I am loving it so far. So what we're going to do is... First, as you see that black line, I'm going to get rid of that real fast. There we go. And make sure it's disabled. Okay, so what we're going to do is click and drag this down. And as you saw, I create another uh, video track. What we're going to do is hit copy and hit paste. And what you want to do now is go over to where the clip or a uh, part in a clip where you want the spin blur, spin blur to happen. So I'm just going to shorten this up a little bit. And I'm going to delete that. And click it. And drag it back on over. And there we go. So there goes where the shot begins. What you want to do is uh, change the fade offset. And make it fade all the way towards the end. There we go. On your top clip. And now what you want to do next is go to Spin Blur, which I just saw. And I already have a preset for this, so I'm going to click and drag it on my clip, and you guys can copy down the preset right there. Um, just go ahead and pause the video. And then after you get done that, basically what will happen is, there goes your Spin Blur. On all your shots and now what you can do actually is shorten where the shot ended and the first shot was right there or it's actually back here there we go now you want to zoom in and cut that or split and now you can play a gag again and as you can see it has to watermark of course but and when you go to render it out in 720p I don't know if you guys saw this video or not um, basically if you render uh, full 720p that watermark will disappear so for the sake of this video the watermark is going to be there and now we're just going to shift render this with uh, shift B as you saw the spin blur popped up right there and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and uh, hope to see some more black ops clips out there pretty sick right now and I'll see you guys later peace you're in trouble now this shit's going underground this ain't a